What's going on, Bitcoin Universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here. So I've had a lot of questions and uh, interest in Library, and people are asking me why have I decided to go ahead and mine it full time now, and what's the big buzz about? So <sighs> Library is uh, a very, very interesting platform, probably just like uh, Ethereum. It's, Ethereum is a multifaceted um, platform and so is library and I think I'm just still scratching the surface of trying to understand everything about library and how it works so basically what it is for the most part is it's a decentralized um, sharing content uh, it basically puts the power into the artist's hand the artist gets to post the content and the artist gets to <clears throat> choose to charge something for it or not uh, so it's just like YouTube but they basically built YouTube on a blockchain technology and they've also incorporated a coin into it as well so the whole platform is self-sustaining it has a wallet built right into it uh, you can see right here in the corner uh, it says my wallet so let me go ahead and click that so this is your wallet. This is just kind of a quick overview. It shows you what's gone in and come out. Um, if you have a beta code, you can get the beta code. With that, you get 25 free coins. Um, thanks, everyone, by the way, who signed up for me. I did get accepted to be a beta tester, so thank you very much. And this is how I've got this ability to test all this but you guys can basically send receive so this is going to be your wallet but it's connected to your computer so anyhow back to explaining why library is really going to be the um, the hot thing that's coming out and what's going on with it so again it's a content sharing platform that's built around the blockchain and this is only the tip of the side of the iceberg so now let's look at this in a totally different reality we they've actually in a way reinvented the internet and also incorporated a coin or a money transfer form uh, tied to it as well so what they've done is they have an http protocol uh, just like the internet um, and the way that that works is you know the internet uses different people's computers and they use servers and the servers send out all the data all over, you know across the world and everywhere, everywhere else so they've actually redone the internet in a way and it's not really the internet more or less it's more of a content sharing platform but in a sense in it, the way the internet works is it requires a server and they use maybe five servers across the world 10 servers it depends and that will send the content out to everybody around now what the way this works is this is actually a peer-to-peer -peer. they have merged the internet with a torrent uh, type system. So the way torrent works is there might be a hundred people with the file and one person is trying to download it and they will take a bits and pieces from all of the different um, different computers. And that works the same way for every piece of content that you guys are trying to download here. So it's a much faster way of getting content because it comes from a lot more sources instead of a single source. Um, and at the same time they've because of the internet and the way it works you know it's only come from so many servers once the internet was started you can't shut it down so they've done the same type of thing for content now once content gets out there and it gets on so many computers or downloads it you won't be able to take it down it's going to be on uh, you know hundreds or thousands of computers and you just can't delete them off every computer so it's still going to be within the blockchain and it'll still be available so there's a lot of potential with this rather it being great for artists uh, and having the ability to share their own content without the middleman um, you don't have to watch ads if they choose not to use ads um, if they do use ads or they can just charge you straight off you can see right here to watch this movie it's 50 uh, 0.7 credits it's about um four dollars maybe uh give or take to be able to watch a movie and that's actually a real good it's a really good movie it's an indie um so you can see the potential of where this is going to go and all these things on the front page are bid for so there's a and there's also going to be ads there's going to be a lot of potential for the coins 
and the way the platform's gonna work. So now a lot of people's asking me, well, how does the coin system work? Why would I wanna mine the coins? You know, what value does it have to the coins? So I explained to you that, you know, now they've got a content sharing platform, which is awesome. I've also explained to you that they've produced a new HTT protocol type system, which is kind of a merge between the internet and torrent, uh, which is totally cool. Uh, now, again, their system is not designed or their platform, there's a lot of platforms, but uh, other people could potentially come and, you know, produce platforms behind it and using the same, their same coin and protocol. So it's kind of like an app type system, the same thing like Ethereum. There's a potential for people to put type of apps from my understanding. Now, so how are these people even funded? Where does this come from? Why is this coming out of nowhere? What's going on with Library? So let's cover this next. Here's Library's homepage. They say it best, play, share, earn. Um, basically decentralized library. It's again, it's uh, it's a new new platform, and it's awesome, uh, especially for content creators. So, what is the big deal, and what's going on here, guys? Is they up a couple weeks ago got a 500k funding from Pillar, and. So again, to me, I don't know who Pillar is. I'm sure you don't know, but you might know. And you can go through and, and read this press release, which I strongly suggest you do. There's a lot of great information in here. It gives you a timeline. Um, but more or less, they are expecting some big things to happen at the end of this month, here in about a week or so. And they're also expecting not to have any more waiting lists and go into full release by the first of the year. Um, so now they have $500,000 of seed money to start hiring engineers and developers and really take this thing off the ground. I think there's about 10 core people that have been working on this hard, but now they've got the funds they needed from, uh, to really launch this thing. So this thing is going to get launched quickly. They, they've got the, the, the means. So now the big question is, is, who is Pillar? Why should I even kill a care that Pillar has even decided to invest into a uh, library? Uh, what's the big deal? So let's go to their website. Check it out. So as I did the same thing, I started doing some more research. And again, guys, I'm only skimming the surface, but you, I really strongly suggest you go do more of this, inf you know, more of this uh, skimming and info. But these guys are no joke. This is a world-class, big-time. Uh, hold on, let me get rid of this little thing. Funding setup company i mean these guys are seriously the big time venture investment group this is major news for them so look at these look at these ceos all these ceos are part of it trip advisor welfare wayfair sorry uh clear skies data i mean this is just the list goes on and on these are companies that they built so they have built TripAdvisor, Wayfair. I mean, look at this. There's, and I'm sure they even have more of this. Pixel, uh, East, uh, EMC. I mean, come on, DraftKings. I mean, demand. I mean, ugh, this is incredible. This is big time, guys. Really, you need to do your research on who's financing these, <laughs> who's financing Library. This is why I'm mining it full time now. So, uh, uh, so now let's look at the mining and let's look at the coins. Let's look what's even available. So uh, this is the cheat sheet that they use. And I just kind of saved the page so we can go to it and look at it. So basically the way this works is the block times are two and a half minutes. There are There's 20 years and they're using proof of work. Um, there is currently 400 million credits, so they did a pre-mine, by the way, guys, to help them finance uh, all of this, uh, you know, to set up the platform and do it. There's an explanation, actually, on their website if you go to the questions. Um, I don't think I'm not going to cover that today, but it's reasonable. I agree with it um, and how they intend on using the funds. None of that money is ever going to even be hitting the market, I believe they said, for at least a year, maybe a year and a half. Um, 
So that's why the venture capitalist funds were so important for them because they're not actually using these credits to fund it at the current time. This is a future uh, funding uh, round because they don't want to you know, crash the coins or whatnot. They're, just, they're holding on to them. I'm sure they're using some small amounts, but nothing major. Uh, the block reward is increased by one every 100 blocks until it's reached 500. So right now, we are actually at 475. So we have not even reached 500 yet. So once it reaches that 500, it is going to lodge a match. I'm not even probably going to pronounce that correctly. But basically from, oh, from 500, it's going to mathematically and logically decrease uh, over the 20-year period to zero. Um, it's a SHA 512 and RIP media. I'm not even sure what that is. Basically, it's a custom algorithm. There are pools available, Supernova and a few of them. You can go to the website. It shows you which pools are there. Um, so now the big question is, is how is this going to look? You know, what is the potential look of the block? You know, if it's going to hit 500, how long is it, you know, what year is it going to be at 400? What year is it going to be at, you know, 100? How fast is this going to fall? So I've actually got my hands on a chart, and let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's a chart, and this is why I feel this is the most important and the best time to even mine library and even start to even think about investing it. Uh, one, most it's pre-coin, it's like in development. Most people don't even know about it. This is really early stages. The prices you see for these coins right now are ridiculously cheap. As we saw before, there's only a billion coins that are going to be available. I don't know that I mentioned that, actually. Um, but there's a billion coins that are going to be available. Uh, just imagine if everybody in the world wanted one coin. It's going it, to, you could easily get over a dollar a coin, if not ten dollars a coin. It's not going to be like Bitcoin, where there's 21 million, 22 million, something like that. Um, so, you know, where that could be a million dollars a coin. Uh, there is one billion coins, but it's not intended to be that. It's meant to be a, um, a video currency. And what is the biggest entertainment? What is the biggest media? It's video. It's, Look what we're watching right now. I'm recording something and you're watching it. So this is why I am on this platform and I'm all about this, guys. So this is a special tip for you guys. Now, this is the inter the conception down here. This is when it started. And like I said, it added one per 100. So it climbed very quickly until it reaches 500, which is actually at like block 5,000 something. Excuse me, 50,000 something. Um, so right now we are actually at 470. We are right in here. We're right at the very peak. So this is going to be the best time to mine guys. I'm serious because you're going to get the most reward. So it took about two months to get from this point to this point. Now, as more miners and people move and the difficulty gets greater or there's more hashing power on the network, it's going to speed up. So if I were to look at this, it took 50,000. It took two months to get there. I'm assuming it would take two months now to get to 10,000. So you've got about a two-month window to get this little arch. But because more people are going to come in, miners are going to come in, the hashing rate's going to go up, I wouldn't be surprised if this actually goes up uh, and gets a decrease to about a month to a month and a half. Uh, now, anything above 400 is going to be prime. So this chart... A rough estimate is going to be about um, eight months out, give or take. Uh, so if two months is 50,000, and if you did it in two-month increments, it would be a year. But because the hash rate is going to increase and it's going to go up, I'm going to estimate this to be at a year. This is a very rough... Um, I'm sure this is an accurate calculation, but, you know, this is just... Um, you know, it, it's going to be a little bit rough because it's going to depend on how many miners there are and how much hashing power there is. But this is still pretty close. So let me explain this also while we're looking at it. The red line is the reward, is how many BTCs that you're going to actually get. The blue line um, over here represents the amount of coins actually mined. So we will hit 100,000, I think. 
there's one billion that's going to be available. So one, two, three. I think this is ten million. No, hundred million. Okay. So when we reach that, it should be a hundred million, which should be one tenth of the available coins. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, hundred million should be one tenth of the available coins uh, of one billion over the the twenty years. So you're going to be able to get one tenth of the available coins in this very short window where the other nine tenths of the available coins will not be able to be obtained over the next 20 years. And that's why I said, you know, this is a very crucial time for libraries history and mining history uh, to get into it because you're going to stay in the high 400 and 450 range as a reward point in this whole time frame. So it's not too late, guys. Um, you know, it's not too late to order you guys some, some graphics cards, switch your computers over, uh, whatever it might be, you know, just get them running within the next week or so, two weeks before we actually hit the peak, and then you've got a good month and a half to soak it up, um, these coins. And I was trying to show you guys how they've got the major investment behind them, how they've got uh, a lot of programmers and everything they're hiring right now, and all these different people from the money. The money is just going to make these wheels turn much faster. Um, it, this is going to be an amazing platform. There's a lot to it. I'm still digging. I'm still learning. I, there's, I, I try to do the best I can. Juggling work, internet, miners, uh, web, YouTube. I mean, it's amazing to keep up with all these questions and stuff. So, anyhow, guys, I do appreciate you watching the videos. Uh, if you have questions, I will try to answer it. And I wanted to, you know, bring you guys into my world of library. Um, I think this is a great, great coin, uh, and, I, and I wanted to share this with my followers. So, in a couple of months, you guys are going to look back, <clears throat> hopefully, and say I'm right, or. Uh, uh, or I just don't see it going <laughs> into the gutter. I just don't see it happening. There's just too much financing, just too much too much brains behind this. This is just an incredible platform. Guys, you really need to go check it out. It's library.io. Um, do your research, frequently asked questions, get mining. I'll do a mining video here shortly, how to do it. Uh, you guys are probably going to want to look into Wolf's Pro Miner if you're going to be running anything like, I don't know, good 10, 20 graphics cards. If you're just mining regular, you can use the freebie versions. And again, I'll help you guys uh, set that up. So thanks again for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Talk to you guys later on.